Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, another uh, studio scale uh, shed update, and uh, this was uh, I want to say second to the last uh, studio scale type of uh, ship I built, and uh, this was the last Battlestar one I built because I built like a bunch of the ragtag fleets, and uh, this was the last one, and uh, I was basically getting burnt out, and that is. The uh, Battlestar Galactica Eastern Alliance uh, Studio Scale Ship. Now, you have to forgive me. I can't remember. I believe they're F-15s, uh, like the 30-second scale Rebel ones, I believe. I think you need like two or three of them. Uh, because if you notice, the uh, intakes are uh, doubled up. And then you got a, you know, F-15 body. And then, look real close, you know, another F-15 body. Uh, it's one of, it is one of the coolest ships uh, known to man, and it's one of those uh, studio scale things, you know, again, when you build studio scale, once you uh, start I identifying the parts, you know, and then acquiring the parts, and then once you start laying them all together, it just starts coming together. But if you notice the wings, uh, the wings, and yes, uh, things in disrepair have been... Uh, uh, been re-glued several times. You might see the little shiny spot there where I broke the wing off. These wings are uh, from Buck Rogers, the uh, studio scale uh, uh, Thunder Fighter. And I will show you that. Let me go over here. I actually have I actually have two of these, and uh, these are solid. I think these are, uh, uh, I want to say Time Slip. I believe that's their castings off the original ones. And uh, that's a studio scale uh, uh, Thunder Fighter from Buck Rogers. And uh, I got these. These were uh, not cast good. You can see where the, they were bent and uh, a few air bubbles and all that. But... And the wing was chipped, but so I was like, hey, I got it for a song. I was like, I can always fix that. Just walk that off. Some styrene, you're good. So, I didn't get the wings to this. So, I had to, uh, I had to take styrene, and uh, I pretty much scratch built the uh, wings. And they should be, if I can do it right, uh, something like that. You see the profile? Uh, but anyway. That's what they used, uh, which is one thing I liked about uh, Battlestar, I want to say old Star Wars, uh, everyone in the model shop of them, and Buck Rogers, and uh, uh, Battlestar, you know, it was all the same style, and you can see it in the uh, model building work. But anyway, the uh, Eastern Alliance, you know, it's a F-15s, uh, two of those, you got uh, Saturn Vs. Uh, again, you can see where it's trying to fall down. Uh, I want to say Sherman, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, road wheels there, or the uh, socket. Uh, they did base it off of, and I didn't, and I couldn't. I was, I was kind of getting burned out trying to finish it in a way. That's the mounting point. You can probably see all the way through it, you know, where you can actually put the uh, rod on there to, you know, film it. And, uh, and other just little things, uh, you know, put everywhere. The uh, top part here, it's always, uh, no one's ever really figured it out, but I believe someone has. And uh, I don't, I'd have to go look at my notes again, but I don't remember exactly which kit. It's an old uh, uh, pyro kit, I believe. Uh, it's like the base or anything, but I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, I uh, kind of, I just laminated some uh, styrene and uh, got the basic shape, added what I could see on the top. Uh, some people may know what it is. I didn't. I was trying to look. Uh, Saturn V, you know, engines and all that. And uh, I finished it up, and uh, it hung for a very, very long time. And then uh, when the uh, hobby store moved, uh, I took a lot of these down, and I put these up in the uh, toy shed, which we will have to, uh, I'm going to try to bring a uh, one over 
so we can go through it and try to re-glue and uh, fix a few things but anyway it's a very cool design uh, one of my favorites um, I don't, you know it is dusty which we're trying to uh, fix but anyway it's not a there's a lot of stuff on it and there's probably uh, maybe a little bit more like little tiny details I may have missed but other than that I believe I got the basic shape of it and I always believe that uh, uh, this was like you know the Eastern Alliance ship that was uh, a second one that you didn't get to see but I have a theory on the Eastern Alliance this was a uh, uh, very fun build for me to do but I have a theory on how they came up with uh, the front end and I think and I could be wrong, but it's just my theory. This is one of the ragtag uh, fleet ships that goes right behind the triangle ship uh, Probert design. But if you look at the top, it's uh, pretty much the same in shape and all that. And they may have changed it up. And I don't know if, you know, I know it's uh, not as big, you know, but it could be. You know, it's just one of those. That's uh, when I was building that, and I built this first, and then I built this last. And I, when I saw the uh, correlation of it, it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's got the basic shape. But again, I could be totally wrong. And, uh, you know, they did reuse a lot of stuff. You know, they take a ship, you know, bash it down, make something else out of it, you know, make another ship uh, for production costs. But anyway, that is uh, the uh, Eastern Alliance. I had to. Uh, re-glue the uh, top end for the video here but anyway it does have battle scars some things I will leave the way it is because uh, you know and others I'll glue back on and uh, try to get them cleaned up and uh, I'll have to try to find a place to put it either you know hanging from the hanging from the ceiling or uh, we'll have to try to restack things and try to get in there into the shells but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what I got going on today uh, trying to clean up the uh, Eastern Alliance uh, ship. So that's what I got going on today. Stay tuned for next exciting uh, episode.